Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll, let's talk about application of derivatives. So under application of derivatives, let's talk about optimization problems. So in this lesson, we will be determining the absolute minimum or maximum of a function that depends on two variables given some constant or relationship that the two variables must always satisfy. So we will discuss here the several methods for determining the absolute minimum or maximum of the function. So example here, example of optimization. So number one, find the two positive numbers whose sum is 300 and whose product is maximum. So the first step is to write down equations describing this situation. So let's select, let's call the two variables, uh, two numbers, x and y. Okay, so x and y. x and y. And we are told that the sum is 300. So this is the constraint for the problem. So we have x plus y equals 300 so this 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 uh, variable these two variables is what we call the two positive numbers okay and we are being asked to maximize the product so I'm going to write a equals x times y x times y and a is the maximum product okay next step we now need to solve the constraint for x or y so it really doesn't matter which variable we solve for in this case and plug this into the product equation so in the first equation we have x plus y equals 300 so let us now solve for the value of x in terms of y so let us try so x here is equal to k okay, uh, at both sides by negative y so we have 300 minus y okay so x here is equal to 300 minus y okay now the next step is to plug in the value of x here to the second equation so we have a equals a equals what is the value of x we have 300 what 300 minus y so 300 minus y Then copy the variable y. Okay, so we have a equals distribute y. So we have 300y minus y squared. Okay, so the next step is to determine the critical points for this equation. So let us solve the derivative of area with respect to variable y. Okay. Let's find out derivative of area with respect to y. So we have a prime here is equal to okay, 300 minus 2y. Okay. And to find the maximum value, set a prime equals 0. So a prime equals 0. So therefore, we have 0 equals 300 minus 2y. Then solve for the value of y. So we have... Okay, 2y equals 300. Then multiply both sides by 1 half or divide both sides by 2. So we get y equals 150. So this is the another, this is one of the positive number, 150. Okay. So next, plug in to solve for the value of x. We have x plus 150 equals 300. Plug in 150, the first equation. Okay, so we have here x at both sides by negative 150. So we have 300 minus 150. So x equals 150 also so the two positive numbers is 150 and 150 okay 
Okay, second example. Find two positive numbers whose product is 750 and which the sum of 1 and 10 times the other is minimum. Okay, so solution. Let's call the two numbers x and y and we are told the product is 750. So this is the constraint of the problem. So we have uh, x times y equals 750. And we are then being asked to minimize the sum of 1 and 10 times the other. So we have the sum equals x plus 10y, 10 times the other, all right? Okay, so we now need to solve the constraint for x or y. So in equation number 1, x times y equals 750. I'm going to solve x in terms of y. So here we have x equals 750 over y. So divide both sides by y. So the x equals 750 over y. So we need to plug in this value of x to the second equation. So we have s equals, what is the value of x here in the first equation? We have 750y. Now plug into the second equation. Okay. So this one, this one, plus 10 y okay and the next step is to determine the critical points for this equation so we need to uh, get the derivative of this derivative of the sum with respect to y okay so get s prime equals so we have this one uh, constant over variable the derivative of constant over variable is negative of constant over square of denominator times derivative of denominator. So we have here, right? So we have negative 750 over y squared, okay, plus 10, okay? Then again, uh, set s prime equal 0. So this must be equal to 0, okay? Then solve for, solve for uh, variable y. Okay, so negative 750 over y squared plus 10 equals 0. Then, so we have uh, multiply both sides by negative y squared. Uh, sorry, multiply both sides by y squared. We have here negative 750 plus 10y squared equals 0. So we have 10y squared equals 750. Divide both sides. So we have y equals square root of 75. Okay. Divide by 10 then. Get the square root both sides. So we have y equals square root of 75. That is equal to what? 5 square root of 3. Okay. Then the next step. Plug in uh, 5 square root of 3 to the first equation. So in the first equation, we have x times y equals 750 okay then plug in y equals 5 square root of 5 times square root of 3 so we have x times 5 square root of 3 equals 750 then divide both sides by 5 square root of 3 okay so x equals 50 square root of 3. So the final answer is x equals 50 square root of 3 and y equals 5 square root of 3. So these are the two numbers.
If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to update you for more videos. Thank you.